Please welcome one of the hottest stars of the summer and any time, Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel? How you doing? Good. Good. That was quite an introduction. Yeah, well, the, I've, uh, I've now got something to live up to. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is it? I mean, what does it feel like to have been to finally have Harry Potter behind you? Um, it's very strange. People keep asking me about this this year, and it's it, obviously because of the last film and everything. But I, as far as I was concerned, I kind of finished filming last year, and right. that was that was the time that I got very sad and that and nostalgic and you know all those things. But it wasn't. Um, it wasn't until everybody started asking ask me this time, so are you sad to be leaving it all behind? See, but I was I wondering if there was going, someone oh, yeah. in, the, in the cast you're just happy to leave behind. Um, <laughs> I don't no, think so, not really. In the, I mean, like, getting beaten up by Ray Fiennes is something I won't miss. Uh -huh. But, like, uh, but, um... And Did he stuff often like, beat you up? Oh, uh, yeah, off camera all the uh -huh. time. No, I mean, there was this, that final fight scene in, in, in this film between us where he's just kicking me about. It's right. just, uh, that, was, that was no fun. But, um, Did, but the thing I, I won't miss the most is Quidditch. Because that was from the word go. Any kind of broomstick stuff that I had to do uh -huh. was incredibly painful. Not nearly as much fun as it looked. Um, but but yeah, it's really, I mean, that, it completely changed your life. Completely. Well. I mean, it, it's responsible for not only my, you know, you can look at it as being, a, a, you know, what it is, which is the most amazing opportunity in the world and a professional opportunity and all the stuff that it has afforded me professionally. Like, I would never be on Broadway, you know, doing this show. Oh, we would have you here. Water. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah. But, um, but, like, but, like, but, thank you very much. But, you know, but realistically, nobody would know who I was. So right. there's no way I would be the leading man in a, in a Broadway show. So from that standpoint, it's, it's, or certainly not by this age, anyway, you know, I mean, so from that standpoint, it's, it's wonderful. But, but more importantly than that, the effect it has on me personally was that I was taken out of this um, very privileged, very middle class, uh, very white school in England, and suddenly, I, where all the kids were kind of from the same background and all fairly privileged and you know well off, and suddenly I, I was put into an environment with hundreds of people from hundreds of different backgrounds, and so I think it just expanded my worldview and changed the person I, I am, and you know I and. I was thinking about this the other day. I owe the person I am to every crew member and every single person that was a part of those films for 10 mm. years in some way affected me. You it know, was an it, extraordinary education. It was. It was an extraordinary education. Uh, you know, I got to watch people like Gary Oldman and David Thewlis and Imelda Staunton and Michael Gambon, Richard Harris, Maggie How Smith. How cool is I Gary mean, Oldman? Gary Oldman is Gary Oldman the seems like the, the coolest world. guy on the planet. Yeah. He kind of is. And one of the coolest memories I will ever have and one of the, the wonderful thing about being an actor in a film series like this is that it, it does afford you a lot of very surreal, weird moments in your life that are kind of amazing. And one of them was when I was being taught at the age of 14, Gary Oldman teaching me the bass line to come together by the Beatles on bass guitar <laughs> right? in between setups. Like, that's just cool stuff uh -huh. that would never have happened to me else. I mean